Welcome to Learn the Sky, your online resource for learning about the stars and constellations. Welcome, my name is Janine, and in this video, we're going to explore two stars called Alcor and Mizar. And this is one of the videos in my Verses series, so be sure to check out some of the other videos I have where we're comparing two objects or things or constellations in space. So Alcor is one star, Mizar is another, but they're often connected because they're a pair of double stars that sits right here in the second star from the tip of the handle of the Big Dipper. So remember, the Big Dipper is really a smaller pattern within the larger pattern of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. And this is a very recognizable star pattern. It's been recognized in many different cultures throughout the ages. So we're going to mostly be focusing on the Big Dipper instead of Ursa Major. So if we take a look at this photo and you travel to Alcor and Mizar right here, it's the second star in from the tip of the handle, you may not really see two stars here and there, there's a reason for that. First is that this is a longer exposure photograph, so the stars tend to bleed together because we're getting more light as we're taking the photograph. And if we were to point out where Ursa Major is, that's where it is, Alcor and Mizar is right here. So since we can't really see and distinguish two stars in this photo, I found another one in which we can kind of do so. So here we have two constellations. Ursa Minor is to the right side, Ursa Major is to the left side, and we're really only looking at the Big Dipper. So find the tip of the handle right here, and go in one, and that's where Alcor and Mizar is. And you can probably see that there are two little stars here, as opposed to one like this, or this, or this, or this, or this. So if we were to zoom in on Alcor and Mizar, that's what it looks like. Thank you, David Cochran, for letting me use this video. But here is Mizar, and here is Alcor. And it is said that this is an ancient eye test, that if you were able to see and distinguish two different stars, you had very sharp vision. So how do we know the difference between the two and how can we explore the system a bit more? So Mizar is the brighter of the pair and it can be seen with the unaided eye since it has a magnitude of two. This pair together is an asterism called the horse and rider star because, well, this would be the horse and that would be the rider. They're very close to each other. And it is a visual test of eyesight, but in fact, it's a quadruple star system. So if we were to zoom in here, Mizar, this is the main star of Mizar. It has its own companion. So we have AA and AB. And then we have another Mizar, that's BA and BB. So these two are very similar in size and color. AB is a little smaller than AA, and this one is simply a red dwarf star. So when you're looking at Mizar, you are in fact looking at four different stars. Now we're going to bounce to Alcor, and Alcor is the faintest of this pair of stars. It has a magnitude of four, and it can be seen with the unaided eye. So I challenge you, go out and see if you can find this pair of double stars without magnification. This whole system is gravitationally bound to each other, and it's estimated that they are 83 light years away. It's also part of the Ursa Major Moving Group, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. But this Alcor is only a binary star system. The main star is a class A star, and the other is a red dwarf companion. So very similar to Mizar B system, Alcor A is the main main sequence star here. It's whitish in color. And then Alcor B is the smaller red dwarf star. So we're really looking at a sextuple um, system here where there are six stars in one system that's estimated to be um, between 80 to 83 light years away. So when I do anything comparatively, I always use a Venn diagram. So that's what I'm going to be carrying out in these versus videos. So What's the similar things between these two stars? First is that they are stars. They're both located in Ursa Major, and they both are multi-star systems. But they're different in the sense that Mizar is a quadruple star system, which are really two sets of binary stars that are going around each other. It is the brighter star, and it's much larger. Mizar has at least 
two solar masses, so twice the size of the sun. Alcor is a binary system, not a quadruple system. It's the dimmer star at fourth magnitude, and it is a much smaller star at only one solar mass when you compare it to Mizar. So again, that's what these systems look like. Now, I mentioned earlier that Alcor and Mizar are part of something called the Ursa Major Moving Group, and this is a group of stars that are moving together through space, and the core of it is located about 80 light years away. So all the stars that are highlighted in red right here, these group of stars are moving together. It shows you the motion of the stars in the Big Dipper. So this is what the Big Dipper looks like today, but it won't always look like this. Over time, because of the motion of these stars, this star pattern will change, but it won't happen in our lifetime. It's expected that the Big Dipper will look like this in 50,000 years because of the apparent motion of these stars. So we're about to wrap up Alcor versus Mizar. I hope you are able to understand the differences, but also the similarities between the two. So you can find Alcor and Mizar. Here I have a star map of Ursa Major. So remember, it's the second star in from the tip of the handle, and I challenge you to try to find two little stars here. I myself don't have really great vision myself, but I'm still able to look at it and see two stars. And it's even better when I spend more time outside and allowing my eyes to adjust to the darkness. So again, Alcor and Mizar located right here. This isn't the greatest picture to show you, so I've got a few others just to hammer the concept in. So here we have the Big Dipper right here, and there is Alcor and Mizar. And even as I'm looking at this, I can see two little pinpoints, and that is Alcor and Mizar. If we take a look at this photo again, I think I showed this one earlier. There's where Alcor and Mizar is, the horse and rider star. Here we've got one more picture. I love this one because it really zooms up in on this picture. This is a picture from NASA that was taken um, of the Big Dipper. And here you can see Alcor and Mizar. We don't see the whole Big Dipper. You can see the pot of the Big Dipper, but right there, that's where Alcor and Mizar is. And you can totally see that there are two little stars here. So we've come to the end of our Versus video about Alcor and Mizar. These are visual binary stars, and it's the second star in from the tip of the handle of the Big Dipper. The brighter star is Mizar, it's the quadruple system, while the dimmer star is Alcor, that's the binary system. And the history behind these two stars is that they were really used as a visual acuity test. If you were able to see two different stars. It meant you had really good vision and sharp vision. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you'd enjoy this. Remember, it takes time, patience, and practice to view the stars. So keep going outside, give yourself some time so your eyes can adjust to the darkness because you're gonna end up seeing a lot more stars. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep looking up. I wanted to take a quick moment to say thank you to David Cochlin for allowing me to use one of his photos of Corona Borealis. You should go check him out on Twitter. He's got some amazing pictures of the sky. Thank you so much, David. If you're new to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications about all new videos. If you'd like to learn about the sky in greater detail, be sure to visit my website. I've got some freebies for you to download as well as online lessons and classes for you to experience. So be sure to check them out.